everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn and welcome to my home. So I went to Lidl's. How many of you have a Lidl's near you? Uh, we have one maybe 20 minutes from me and then another one about 30 minutes from me. They're starting to pop up all around. And I used to go there fairly often. I'd say before 2020. I think it opened in 2018, 19 by me and we frequent it. And then, you know, pandemic hit and it was just not the place that we would go to. Um, we just went to one bigger store where I could get more of what I wanted. And then I kind of forget about it once in a while. But today, well, last night, Graham, many of you know my husband, Graham, had a seizure. He's been seizuring this past week quite often. We're in that phase again and um he fell hard hard and um twisted his back quite bad so we had to go to the chiropractor today and um Lidl's is almost across the street from it so off i went to get i had a number of things i needed i would say more fillers oddball very odd things if you look at my which I'm going to show you everything if you look at what I got you would say there's not a quite a meal here and no there isn't so here's where we're at and you're going to see videos I have a hair floating in my face oh it's driving me crazy you're going to see videos up and coming on this but I am and I've talked about this I've been eating down my pantry for a year it'll be a year in November we have eaten quite a bit of it down. I've given a good handful of it away to friends and family that could use items that I really didn't think I'd use. I have been using things in an odd way. I had a, uh, from Thrive Market, a vegetable, or not a vegetable, a plant-based chili. And I, my son wanted tacos, so I made tacos and to bulk it up i added one of these plant-based chilies to the ground beef with the taco seasoning i don't think anybody knew the difference and i used it up that way so i've been trying to use these things up in the last year we've had major changes in our household as to who's here who's not scheduling meals everything just everything even taste buds so I'm trying to eat down the pantry, get rid of what I think we're no longer going to eat. And in between doing these oddball fillers to kind of balance out what I have left. I'm also trying to eat down all the meat in my freezer, except for a small amount so I can put other things in my freezer, including breads and flowers and grains and things like that. A lot of stuff coming up. We'll, we'll, be, we'll talk. We'll talk. So I'm going to show you the table in a minute, but I do want to just say to you, how many of you are struggling with the prices of food? Yes, absolutely. I am not denying that prices have gone up, but I will jump on the bandwagon with a lot of the other YouTubers that I enjoy watching where there are still bargains to be had. And I'm going to give you an example and talk about it. Then I'm going to show you my haul. You let me know if this would fit in your area. So right now there's a family, we're a family of three in my household most nights. Sometimes we're a family of five to six. Sometimes we're a family of two. On the average, three people. Now, when I showed you the little walk around the store, I tried to catch some prices there for you so you could see some of the items. But they had a roast pork and I don't know if I got that in the video, it was on sale, good size roast pork. I was so tempted. I've been craving a good roast pork. And I looked at it and I said, Lynn, you got enough in your freezer. Use up what you have. You don't need to go and buy another piece of meat until you use up what you have. Okay. But it was $7 and change. I want to round that up to $8. Okay. And it was a good size. Now for me, if, if I just use that roast pork for dinner and I cut it up, I said to my husband, okay, what could I do with it? The first night we could have some sliced roast pork. Then I can take some of those slices and chop it up into like thin strips 
and we could do a stir fry with it. Then we could do some sandwiches another night. I, I, I don't know. There's all kinds of things you can do with it. But that one roast pork is going to give me probably four to five meals or four to five dinners for the week. So I just figured, okay, let's just do four. So, you know, figure if we rounded it up, $2 a meal for the, for the meat. And then a bag of pasta there was 98 cents. Now, one bag of pasta would be more than I would need for one meal, but let's, again, I, I'm, I'm gonna just round this up. So we're gonna use a bag of pasta and that would be a dollar. So now I'm up to $3 for the meal. And they had canned vegetables, three for a dollar, so that's 30 cents a can. That's cheap in this day and age, 30 cents a can. And it was for peas, corn, or, or green beans, three for a dollar. So let's just say 50 cents, okay? So we're looking at $3.50 per meal on an average. And that's rounding up and not down. So that comes out to what, like a dollar twenty-five a person. And if we, since we rounded up, if we rounded down a little bit, you're looking at maybe a dollar ten a person for a meal, for a dinner with ro with meat, like roast pork and a pasta and a and a vegetable. Now it's not fresh, it's not fresh vegetables, it's not frozen, it is canned. It is pasta. It's you know, this meal is not. Uh, super well I'd say it's it's decent it's not a super well balanced or super healthy or you know you're getting your meat you're getting your pasta and you're getting your vegetable if you're on a budget if you don't have money if you don't have a lot of money if you're living paycheck to paycheck or you just have to cut back for whatever reason a dollar ten per person is not a bad deal now if you took that and you're a family of one or family of two you know, you're stretching that out. We're doing a family of three, so five, four nights, five nights at a dollar ten each, and you're a family of one, you're talking now double or triple that in terms of how many meals you're getting out of it. You're gonna do really, really well. And I said to my husband, you know, potatoes are fairly cheap right now. Pasta in 98 cents a bag is cheap. Um, rice is still reasonable. And, you know, if you had to go to the Dollar Tree and buy a bag of rice for $1.25, you could do that. You could do instant potatoes if you couldn't get a bag of real potatoes. So there are some options out there. Now, it's not including a salad. It's not including a dessert. It's not including a second vegetable. You know, you can bulk that up however you want to do that. But I just want to make the point that there are still deals to be had and great meals to be eaten. And no, we cannot always eat fresh vegetables and we cannot always have frozen and we can't have all the perfect, perfect, perfect. But in a world of where, you know, money's tight and people are, are struggling, a dollar ten a meal to a dollar fifty per person is a whole lot cheaper than going through the drive through, a whole lot cheaper than sitting down at a local restaurant. And if you were to have company over, even with that, and you did that roast and that bag of pasta, and maybe you had to do two or three cans of vegetables, you're still talking like 10 bucks to feed a crowd. You could really do quite well with that. So I was excited. I was excited to see that because I felt like, you know what, we could do this. They had hamburger buns, you're gonna see. They were a dollar ten. Now I used to get them for like, 59 cents, 69 cents, they've doubled. But even at a dollar ten and their hamburger rolls, I could use those for a breakfast sandwich and eggs there. I've seen eggs in our area as cheap as a dollar ten a dozen. They were a dollar forty at Lidl. But a dozen eggs and you can make an egg sandwich or an egg salad sandwich or you know, whatever, and you could you could you could do something here. We could do something. We can do this. Would you want to eat roast pork every night? Well, I don't know. Some weeks I can do it and other weeks I couldn't. But even if I got two pieces of meat and I got a chicken and a roast pork, I could divide them each up. And this week I could do, you know, every other night chicken and every other night pork and do the same next week and change the, this is why you have to have a stockpile of seasons. 
seasonings. You need to have garlic and onion powder and curry or Italian seasoning or whatever your taste buds like because a little sprinkle of this, a little dash of that, some bouillon and things like that, you can really dress up a piece of meat and make it flavorful with different palates that you know you would enjoy. So that's all I have to say about that. I would love to know, could you do a meal for $1.10 to $1.50, even at $2 a person for dinner in your local area with a piece of meat, a starch side, rice, potato, or pasta, and a vegetable? Could you do it for under $2 a person? How cheap could you go? I'd love to know. Um, I know, I only know my area. I don't really know other areas, but I still think when I figured that out about $1.10 a person, I was like, this is not bad. I could do this, you know, and if we were really, really, really tight and there was just no extra money, we'll live on roast pork for a week. We could do it. And even with that, four to five nights, I could stretch it to seven if we had to. So there are ways of doing this. So that was good news. That was encouraging news that we can still do this. So I'm going to take you shopping on my dining room table and I'm going to let you see what I got. All right, I'm going to show you what I picked up. And again, this is not a balanced weekly shopping trip. This is fillers. So let me start here. Mine is falling apart. I absolutely love using this with my dishes. So the one I got last time was the Scrub Mommy. I went back to the Scrub Daddy this time. Picked up some string cheese. We have some of the, um, it's not the Laughing Cow, but something like that. And I like to have these things, quick grab and go snack. We're hitting the road. Graham's not feeling well, needs a snack. I like taking these to work just to have a little extra. I just felt like this as a change from spaghetti or noodles, we're gonna do tortellini and I think pork chops this week. These I love. If you are a British background, you would know these things as digestive biscuits. There, you can see they're right there by Lidl. I like these. I like to have two or three sometimes with me in the morning when I go to work. I, I get to work sometimes 6, 6.30 in the morning. And by 7, 7.30, I'm just feeling like I need a little something. I can munch on this with a bottle of water and then have my breakfast later on about 9.30, 10. That's usually how I roll. So I like those. I got two of them because I don't get to Lidl's often enough and to buy these online and get the real digestive biscuits. They're quite pricey and this is convenient. This is my new treat. I get, these are sliced. I usually get the whole beets. I don't like the canned beets. You taste the tin. I love beets, cold beets on a salad. I'm in, I, I'm just, that's my thing. I picked this up, maple vanilla. They also had pumpkin, and you probably saw that as I walked you through Lidl's. It's funny. The expiration date is my birthday, February 6th, 2024. So I guess I'll have that for a while if I want to keep it till my birthday. That's funny. Okay. Um, picked up these bags. I picked up the family size quart and the family size gallon. Um, 80 in each box. They were for something a box. I needed those. I just placed an order with walmart.com and they were outrageously priced. I don't know why. So I picked these up and I was happy with the price. Picked up baby wipes. Wipes. I like to have these for the car. Traveling, you know, you just need wipes, wiping your hands and all the rest. I needed rice cakes. They had Thin rice cakes, unsalted. It's this little tiny, it was $1.99. I don't know if that's a good deal. I don't remember what I actually pay for rice cakes, but I do like rice cakes with peanut butter in the morning or just rice cakes and cheese as a snack. I've been doing more of egg that. noodles, these look like a nice rich, kind of an egg noodle, Lidl's brand. Let's see that there. Picked up two of those. I had nothing left and I like that as an alternative to not always just regular pasta. I think that's nice doing a chicken and gravy or beef and gravy over noodles. These are my son's favorite. I can't stand this. I don't like them at all. But I got four boxes for him. That's going to come out of his budget. 
Got myself my favorite lettuce butter blend, so that'll go with my beets. I picked up two bags of medium shells. These were 98 cents. They had shells. They had the ones that looked like a corkscrew for 98. They had, what was the other one they had? Elbows for 98. And then I think if you got the penne or anything else like that, they were $1.59. So still not bad. Picked up a English cucumber for myself to go with my lettuce and my beets. And that'll be one of my treats for this week for me. I picked up this um, extra virgin olive oil spray. It's in a glass bottle. It was $1.99. And I thought I could probably just repurpose this bottle as well. So many times I do potatoes or uh, asparagus or broccoli in the air fryer and I put olive oil on it. So I thought a spray bottle would be nice. My son requested some pods, so I got those. Here's my $1.10 hamburger buns. I picked up cottage cheese. My husband requested that. And I want to try that. Somebody told me to try that in scrambled eggs. Three peppers. I have a steak in the freezer. I will use one of these peppers with um, chopping that up real thin. And I have a half an onion in the refrigerator. So I'm going to make pepper steak in the crock pot. The other two I will just chop up and put them in the freezer for a later date. And I don't have any onion right now. So I can always pick up an onion later picked up this as a treat for one meal this week. We could do that along with some sliced vegetables or a salad. Picked up some mini eclairs. These are the best in the world here at Lidl's. So yummy. That's a treat for the week. Also picked up this. I love pizza and to buy a regular pizza from the local pizza place is just so expensive. This was four dollars and change. We can slice that up for a lunch or for a dinner. Um, picked up pumpkin pie, butter spread, yummy, 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 love it. I think that'll go great on some toast or some rice cakes even or crumpets that we have in the freezer. Picked up Texas style biscuits and then also the buttermilk biscuits and we use those for all kinds of things. Biscuits and gravy, using them as dumplings if I do it like a chicken dumpling. I don't know, all kinds of recipes. Graham and Gavin both wanted the sweet and creamy coffee creamer. I think I showed you these already. If not, these are their version of pods. Gavin wanted those for his laundry. And I picked up a nice plant for myself. It was $11.99. Lynn needed a little TLC. She's had a rough week with Graham and a seizure. So that was just a little plant therapy for me. Oh my God, that was my, my quick... Lidl's haul that you see here. Hope you enjoyed it. Stick around. We're going to have up and coming videos of more pantry items as well. I have a mini Dollar Tree haul coming up and I also have a huge unboxing of a box I received from a viewer. So you'll be seeing that video next. Hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you can do a dinner for less than $2 a person how cheap can you go? All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon.